certainly for somebody like yourself is a great responsibility and I'm sure from what you've just said and knowing a little bit of the background of your work that it falls on people who do teach like yourself and me to instruct people that there is a reason why some people don't have profound experiences and it's a very simple one and it's not one to be taken personally you're just not ready for it you have to clean house to get contact with that experience and sometimes it's a good thing it's like a universal survival mechanism if you're not being catapulted into the Pleiadian mothership there's a reason for that and it either means that you've got work to do still or it means that there's a, a wiring job inside you that until that is done makes you vulnerable so if you're gonna particularly on a trans-dimensional level if we posit the whole idea that these aren't necessarily just hugely advanced physical beings with nice machines but they are operating trans-dimensionally which makes massive sense to me and has to be to some extent then as you shift dimensional space you are going to be very very obvious and very very you know um, seeable and observable like you've got a traffic cone on your head if you suddenly shift space to a 4 or 5d space with a load of issues so doing the inner work here is doing the discipline is training in the kind of you know spiritual kung fu really before you move to deeper realms yeah, it'd be like a you know throwing a wild monkey on the ship you know it's like a, <laughs> you know, big, oh my god what do we do with this you know send it back you know, that's right banana, yeah. give it a banana and, banana and send it back you know? <laughs> yeah i mean it's, it's 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 very important to to balance not just saying do all the hard work and then the fun begins you can have the fun while you're doing the hard work but it's scaled proportionately to where you're at so if you've had the life path the, the fortunate or synchronous life path to begin from a spiritual angle which is gladly I'm grateful that that's where I came from uh, to study uh, Zen to study Kabbalah to study Druidism to study shamanism and then later come to some of the negative aspects and the as I say the some of the negative illuminist and extraterrestrial groups and so on you can build that into the world picture much more readily and you don't get sucked down into this dark unveiling all the time and as anyone is familiar with my work that is definitely something to be cautious of if you if you constantly just research the dark stuff it has an effect on you and it starts to infect you oh. so you have to fit it into a much more sort of holistic zoomed out world view so the spiritual work in that sense um, equips you for more profound work and readies you for more profound experiences and that's where the juice is that's where the excitement is that's what I would say if you dev if you uh, devote most of your time and energy as you're saying to your own awakening process and healing process and really raise your frequencies up that it's so much more beneficial than to focus on the negative so much thinking that your ego is going to think it's going to save you or prevent things from happening you know, but I do acknowledge, you know, there is, there are uh, negative events out there. There are negative beings out there. Uh, I don't focus on them. I have enough to deal with on my plate without going looking for them. You know, they, <laughs> they come find me quite often, and then I have to deal with them. But, uh, you know, I always say just don't, don't go looking for it all the time. Focus more on raising oh. your own frequencies and, and, you know, maintain your own self-authority and stand in your own power, and then it's just a much more fruitful path. Absolutely. And any negative entities that are encountered, you can pretty much determine that they are also trapped in their own, their own polarity, even though it may be fantastic and incredible compared to ours. They are still in polarity, so they still have not found alignment in their path. So they are, they're not of any interest to us. Let us focus on ourselves and then we resonate to us. Other aligned beings, which inherently, as in our terminology, would be positive beings. Definitely. We've just got a minute left. Um, if people want to get a hold of you, what's the best way for them to contact you? Well, I have a, a website, a blog, uh, thecleaver.blogspot.com, which is basically a, a place where my essays and interviews are kind of archived. And it's four years of essays, interviews on subjects to do with conscious evolution, spirituality, metaphysics, and so on. 
Um, there's also an audio book you can get from there. So if you want to listen to the essays rather than read them, that's cool. Uh, there's the audio cleaver. There's also a, a, a set of recordings called Transitional Alchemy, which is from a speaking tour that I did with a friend and colleague earlier this year in the States, uh, which is linked to from the cleaver. So uh, everything, including personal contact details, if anyone wants to email me, is, is probably from there. And also neilkramer.com is about to come online soon. Um, that will also link you for the present time to the, to the cleaver. So neilkramer.com is probably a, a nice, rememberable place to go. Great. And before we close there, I, I want to apologize to any of the yogis uh, out there that uh, <laughs> I did that process for almost 11 years and, and uh, did eat goji berries, and it was a great process. But there's so much more <laughs> than tying yourself into a pretzel. <laughs> you know? and, uh, but anyway, I, I can't thank you enough for coming on the show. Uh, it's been a great conversation. We'll have to do it again soon. No, thank you, James. I've very much enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for the opportunity to talk to you and your listeners. All right. Well, we're out of time, so we've got to sign off here. So this is James Gillen with World Puja signing off. Have a great day, and uh, pay attention to the self and what's going on in there. Have a good day.